What's up everybody welcome to another camera comparison video today I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and Xiaomi 12T Pro well a lot of people have made a lot of different review videos comparison videos and yeah most of them almost all of them have praised Xiaomi 12T Pro I'm here to share the truth but it doesn't mean I'm gonna bash Xiaomi 12T Pro. Xiaomi 12T Pro comes with a very good, very capable main sensor. That's a Samsung ISOCELL HP1 200 megapixel sensor. But there were three things that I really don't like about Xiaomi 12T Pro. Like some of the people are making videos talking like Xiaomi 12T Pro is better than Xiaomi 12S Ultra, which is rubbish. Definitely that's not true. And some other people said like Xiaomi 12T Pro is better than iPhone 14 Pro Max. Another piece of lie. Some people really have this ability to fabricate and share wrong information, fabricated information. So yeah, I don't like it. But I'm not gonna say Xiaomi 12T Pro is a bad smartphone. Xiaomi 12T Pro is actually a better choice than Nubia Z40s Pro when we are talking about the main sensor performance. But there are a few things we need to address and we need to accept. Like Xiaomi 12T Pro doesn't have any telephoto lens like this iPhone 14 Plus. Xiaomi 12T Pro comes with a very poor 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Xiaomi 12T Pro stock camera algorithm isn't that optimized or polished. In some occasions, Xiaomi 12T Pro has really done well. But how well? Is it better than Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or iPhone 14 Pro Max or Xiaomi 12S Ultra? or even Google Pixel 7 Pro. Well, we will check a lot of photos side by side. We will check a lot of videos. Please watch through this video. And if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Well, it's time to start our camera comparison between Xiaomi 12T Pro and many other flagships. Oh, what's up everybody? Welcome to another camera comparison video. This is Xiaomi 12T Pro and this is iPhone 14 Plus. Don't worry, we also have iPhone 14 Pro Max with us. Yeah, and we all and uh, who is sending me message? Well, and we also have Nubia Z40s Pro and well, we also have uh, Motorola Edge 30 Ultra and yeah, we also have another smartphone that's Google Pixel 7 Pro. Well, check carefully which smartphone has rendered my skin tone correctly, which smartphone has rendered colors correctly. Color rendition? I think. Well, I have to check. Anyway, which smartphone microphone is working better? Which smartphone has managed to cancel noise successfully? Check everything carefully and then make a comment. Let me know in the comment section below which smartphone selfie camera has performed the better. Well, I know we have to do stabilization check right we have to run but i don't want to run it's winter let's walk a while what do you think which smartphone has better selfie video performance? Please make a comment and let me know. Also, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. After doing camera comparison videos for almost more than a year now, I have noticed that most of the smartphones actually struggles in three segments. Let's start with one of the toughest of those three, human photography. Xiaomi 12T Pro being a Xiaomi smartphone applies beauty effect even if it is disabled. Skin tone and skin smoothing is really a bit too high. Eva has a few scratches on her skin which is clearly visible on the photos taken with Galaxy S22 Ultra. While 12T Pro has totally erased it, that's like built-in Photoshop correction. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has better, almost natural skin tone, more details on the subject, sharper textures, and maintain the perfect ratio of contrast and highlights, while Xiaomi 12T Pro has increased highlights, saturation, and contrast. Talking about detail level would be a waste of time and altogether, the photos on the right are only good for posting on social medias. Also, if you check carefully, you may notice that Xiaomi 12T Pro photos have a bit blurry background. 
it's not because of the sensor size. It's because Xiaomi 12T Pro has a narrower depth of field. It may be a positive thing if you really need narrow depth of field, but if you wanna keep both the foreground and the background sharp and clear, then sorry, 12T Pro will fail to do that. For your information, 12T Pro has a bit bigger aperture f1.7 compared to Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra's f1.8, but in terms of detail and definition, Samsung is way ahead of Xiaomi 12T Pro. Talking about depth of field, Nubia Z40s Pro also has narrow depth of field. It has even bigger aperture f1.6, which leads to an issue as Z40s Pro can intake more light it needed a better software to maintain good balance of exposure and contrast. Xiaomi has increased contrast to compensate exposure and 12T Pro Photos looks a bit better than Nubia Z40s Pro Photos. However, when we check the basics, I mean level of detail, texture sharpness, shadows, skin tone and color grading, we can clearly see Xiaomi 12T Pro has heavily failed to get at least one of these correct. Nubia has more details with sharper textures. Skin tone is actually not correct in the photos taken by any of these two smartphones, but color grading is better in Nubia photos. Let's check some portrait photos side by side with Nubia Z40s Pro and then we will compare with Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Well, check carefully. In portrait mode, beautification is only added to the face, not to the whole body. When we have checked main sensor human photos, Xiaomi 12T has vanished the scratches on the skin. But in portrait mode, not only the scratches are there, skin tone of the body is almost correct. But for some reason, still there is a heavy beauty effect applied on the face. As both of these are Chinese brands, both the Nubia and Xiaomi has applied skin smoothing and skin fairness, but it's minimum in Nubia photos. Also, most of the time Nubia has better focus metering, textures have more definition, colors are almost natural, edge detection, edge cutouts and the separation line, everything is better in Nubia photos. It's also surprising that Nubia Z40s Pro has better exposure in portrait mode than in photo mode. By default, 12T Pro has heavy bokeh effect, but as we can change it according to our taste, I am not gonna complain about bokeh effect. Xiaomi 12T Pro doesn't have any telephoto lens, so it uses its main sensor to grab portrait photos and adds digital cropping to give it a 50mm portrait look. Nubia Z40s Pro has a 35mm lens tagged to its main sensor, so Z40s Pro uses its main sensor and delivers 35mm portrait photos. Anyway, Xiaomi 12T Pro actually has done well beside this Nubia Z40s Pro. But how good is it? Can it beat Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra? Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has a 3x optical zoom lens. S22 Ultra by default uses that lens for portrait photography. It is almost an open secret. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra delivers one of the best portrait photos among all the flagships. Personally, I believe in this, cause Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has better color tone mapping, natural skin tone, better exposure, wider dynamic range, and most importantly, more details on the subject. It's almost impossible for Xiaomi 12T Pro to compete, cause it doesn't have a telephoto lens, it depends on its main sensor, and detail level along with texture sharpness is so poor. In terms of edge detection, edge cutouts and bokeh effect, obviously Samsung has done a bit better. I don't know why Xiaomi 12T Pro has high contrast and why Xiaomi cannot drop the beauty effect thing. After checking a lot of portrait photos side by side with many different smartphones, Xiaomi 12T Pro portrait photos are only comparable to phones like Nubia Z40s Pro, Realme GT2 Pro, Honor Magic 4, Xiaomi 12T Pro portrait photos are really not comparable to any of the proper flagships which comes with a proper telephoto lens. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to, and if you hit the bottom, I'm Time for selfie photos. I have always mentioned it in almost all of my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra videos. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is my favorite smartphone to take selfie photos among all the Android smartphones. Side by side with this Xiaomi 12T Pro, definitely Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra has better skin tone, better color grading, more details, sharper textures, wider dynamic range, better exposure, and more definition. 
but well, Xiaomi 12T Pro selfie photos aren't as bad as Redmi K50 Ultra. Xiaomi 12T Pro selfie photos are actually comparable to Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Anyway, there is an international smartphone giveaway going on. If you are subscribed to this channel, then what you have to do is to make a valid and detailed comment about what do you think about these selfie photos, which one has done better and why. I'm not gonna lie, I think both of these two smartphones have reproduced nice and vibrant video clips. Both have done well, but there are some differences. Samsung has more detail, Xiaomi has better color, S22 Ultra has better stabilization, 12T Pro has better exposure, S22 Ultra has wider dynamic range, 12T Pro has better white balance. Some of the differences are personal preferences and some creates definite imbalance in quality. But one thing must be mentioned, Xiaomi 12T Pro with almost true to life colors, better exposure and on par detail level has made it clear that the main sensor of this phone is a gem. I really wish that Xiaomi has added a telephoto lens and proper stock camera optimization, only then this phone would have a real chance to fight with the big boys. Well, these video clips are recorded in 8K. Overall, Xiaomi 12T Pro has done better than Nubia Z40s Pro. Xiaomi has better stabilization without cropping a lot of the frame. 12T Pro has better exposure and brightness. Highlights and definition is also better in 12T Pro. But for an unknown reason, Xiaomi 12T Pro has different type of color grading in 1080p, 4K and 8K. It's the best in 4K and worst in 1080p. I have always said this in almost all of my Motorola Edge 30 Ultra videos. Samsung Isocell HP1 is a very capable sensor and if a brand can properly use it, then of course it will offer good performance. These 8K video clips are a perfect example of that. Xiaomi 12T Pro has actually done better than Nubia Z40s Pro. Let's take it slow, where you go I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we go? It's time for the second toughest segment. It's time for indoor artificial light photos. Most of the budget flagships fails in this segment. But Xiaomi 12T Pro isn't a budget flagship. It costs around 800 US dollars. So it should perform like a monster, right? Well, I have taken all the photos in auto mode with auto HDR and I have disabled any type of AI. Saturation and white balance in most of the photos taken with 12T Pro is poor. It's either too warm or too saturated. In some photos, it's good, but in general, it's far from reality. On the other hand, Pixel 7 Pro has better color grading. It's almost natural, yet eye-pleasing while Xiaomi 12T Pro has rendered colors with some sort of artificial tone. It feels like there is a color pop effect, but I'm truly surprised to see that Xiaomi 12T Pro has rendered the color red with perfection. In some occasions, I have noticed 12T Pro photos are a bit overexposed, while Pixel 7 Pro preserved more shadow detail. Xiaomi 12T Pro has wobbled beside Pixel 7 Pro in indoor environment. It gets even worse when there are a lot of different light sources and a lot of different colors needed to be reproduced. In terms of detail and textures, it is really not that difficult to decide which one is better. Pixel 7 Pro has nailed it with extensive detail and superb texture processing. I must say, most of the differences are due to the stock camera algorithm and implementation. Cause Xiaomi 12T Pro has a very good main sensor and with a bit of a tweak, it may also perform very good. But at the same time, we all know, Google always comes with the best algorithm, which is almost untouchable. Finally, the third toughest segment, low light photography or night mood photos. All right, I may have already mentioned this, Samsung Isocell HP1 200 megapixel main sensor of Xiaomi 12T Pro is a good sensor. No question about that. And Xiaomi has fought well in two times zoom photos. 
but once we have punched into 5 times zoom, Xiaomi 12T Pro has fallen apart. Motorola Edge 30 Ultra, Vivo iQ90, and Nubia Z40s Pro. All of these have performed way better than Xiaomi 12T Pro in 5 times zoom photos. When the fanboys will understand, the price Xiaomi is asking us to pay for this 12T Pro is way higher than what it offers. And when will Xiaomi understand the real meaning of the word Pro? I wish Xiaomi will either offer Pro level hardware or stop using the word Pro in the names of its smartphones. Anyway, as Xiaomi 12T Pro doesn't have a telephoto lens, let's move to the main sensor low light photos. Truly. 12T Pro has done well. I cannot say Xiaomi 12T Pro is a night mode monster, but within its capabilities, it has delivered very good quality photos. I always check DENS, detail level, exposure management, noise and grains, and shadow detail to define night mode performance. Xiaomi 12T Pro has maintained high level of details. Exposure management in general is even better than Xiaomi 12S Pro. I believe this Xiaomi 12T Pro has the best noise removing algorithm. And finally shadow detail. Well, this is the segment where Xiaomi need to work a bit to improvise. But overall, Xiaomi 12T Pro nighttime camera performance is better than most of the budget flagships. It may not be better than Motorola Edge 30 Ultra, but it's better than many other smartphones. As I'm working on another camera comparison between Xiaomi 12T Pro and Google Pixel 7 Pro, I wish you will subscribe to this channel and watch that video to get a better idea. But for now, kudos to Xiaomi for properly utilizing Samsung Isocell HP1 main sensor in night mode. Maybe some of you are waiting for nighttime ultra wide photos. I'm not gonna say a word about that. Cause I don't wanna humiliate Xiaomi 12T Pro. Yes, that bad it is. What else would you expect from a poor 8 megapixel sensor? When will the fanboys stop being satisfied with an 8 megapixel sensor? I personally cannot accept it because it's way too poor. Well, I have seen some people in their review videos defending Xiaomi saying that iPhone 14 Pro Max comes with a 12 megapixel sensor tagged to its ultra wide lens. So 8 megapixel of Xiaomi 12T Pro is good enough. Can a statement be any funnier than this? Lame and maybe shameless. The truth is side by side Xiaomi 12T Pro ultra wide photos cannot even beat iPhone 14 Plus. Let's put that iPhone 14 Pro Max aside. More details, better shadow, sharper textures, better color tone mapping, and wider dynamic range. iPhone 14 Plus is far ahead than this Xiaomi 12T Pro in ultra wide segment. These days, most of the smartphones, even mid range smartphones, can deliver good quality daytime photos. We have to agree, technology has advanced a lot, so it's very difficult to differentiate among the flagships. Mostly the differences are preferential. In general, Xiaomi has warmer tone, highlights are a bit higher than usual, and dynamic range isn't as wide as iPhone 14 Plus. iPhone 14 Plus with a bit more detail, a bit better exposure, and almost natural color rendition has reproduced better daytime photos. But Xiaomi has fought well. In some photos, it has even beaten iPhone 14 Plus. But the issue is stability and consistency. Truly, if Xiaomi can improvise and deliver stable performance, then of course, this 12T Pro will surely have a spot in the top league, at least in the main sensor category. Alright, well, let me be clear. Yes, I have used iPhone 14 Pro to test the zoom photos. I wanted to let you know and understand, having a telephoto lens makes a huge difference. When will Xiaomi start providing a telephoto lens, at least for the Pro editions? By the way, I agree that Xiaomi 12T Pro has performed almost similarly, if not better than iPhone 14 Plus, cause that one also doesn't have any telephoto lens. But when compared side by side with iPhone 14 Pro, it doesn't matter whether it's a 3x zoom photo or a 5x zoom photo, Xiaomi 12T Pro has lost by a big margin. Okay, after watching through this video, what do you think? Oh yeah, 
we haven't checked nighttime low light video performance yeah we will check that at the end of this video but after checking these photos and videos my verdict is xiaomi 12t pro comes with a very capable samsung isocell hp1 main sensor it's a 200 megapixel sensor and with a bit of a tweak it can perform even better but as xiaomi 12t pro doesn't have a telephoto lens and a very good ultra wide sensor we actually cannot put it in a competition with any other flagship class smartphones which comes with a proper ultra ultra wide sensor and a telephoto lens do you agree with me oh yeah it's time to check nighttime low light video and this time we are gonna check side by side iphone 14 plus and xiaomi 12t pro <laughs> And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. 